Hello, Janelle here, and I just wanted to take a second to share something that I've been thinking a lot about um, ever since I created the Reimagining the Talk um, parent course, and I've just been something I want to share. So the title of this was, What Should Driver's Ed and Sex Ed Have in Common? So in thinking about how we teach our kids about sex, it tends to go something like this, like, we don't talk about it at all. Puberty comes, and out of necessity, we have this conversation about puberty, and then at some point, we have this conversation about reproduction, and most likely how to prevent pregnancy and STIs, and then there's no other conversation. Um, but really, it, it tends to be that there's no intentional conversation about sexual health until like these key moments and then life, and then there's a little bit of conversation, and then there's really not anything else after that. Um, but... What I really want to encourage people to do is to take an approach more like how we learn how to drive a car. So even though we do not drive cars until a certain age, I'm not even sure what age it is. I think it's 16 or 17 in British Columbia. Anyways, um, <laughs> our kids learn how our, our kids get a license at, at this age, right? But the reality is, is that that's not when they start learning about how to drive. Basically, from the moment they're born, their first car ride, they're learning how to drive, right? They're observing us. They are seeing how we interact with other people. They're seeing how we read stop signs and traffic um, patterns and all these things. And they're constantly learning about how to be this safe driver, right? They understand what a red light, green light, yellow light means. They understand what a yield is. They understand what a stop sign is. All of these things they are learning on a daily basis, essentially, from the you know first couple of days, weeks that they're born, and they are constantly learning about how to actually drive. And because it would be crazy, right, if the first time that they went to actually drive was also the first time they'd ever been in a car. That just doesn't happen at all. Yet that is the approach that we take with teaching our kids about sexual health. Even though sexual health is this core aspect of their humanity, we don't often talk about it. And um, so one of the things I feel really passionate about with this, um, with reimagining the talk, the course that I've created, and just in helping parents build their confidence so that they can talk to their kids with confidence, clarity, and purpose when talking about sex and sexual health is just how do we take that driver's ed approach? How do we take, you know, all of these little moments throughout their life to enrich their sexual health, to give them knowledge, to build confidence and skills so that when the day comes when they are actually engaging in sexual activity or they're, you know, making these independent choices, they've had this whole lifetime of, um, of skill building and knowledge building to be able to make these enriching decisions. So anyways, that's, um, that's, that's my take on how um, sex ed and driver's ed should be more, um, have a similar approach. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you are already taking a little bit more of this driver's ed approach with your child's, in terms of raising a, a sexually healthy child, I'd love to hear about it um, in the comments. And please also join the um, Reimagine the Talk Facebook group where we can connect with parents. And if you're wanting to build your confidence and your knowledge, please check out the free talk toolkit, which I'll link to here. And so you can start having those conversations with your kid throughout their whole life rather than like this big, like this one big talk of moment um, as they get older and, you know, reach puberty or reach, you know, an age where you feel like it's necessary to have certain um, conversations about sex and sexuality and life choices. So anyways, uh, I hope that uh, you found that, uh, I hope that's an interesting um, thing to think about for you. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments. And until next time, though, I will sign off.